What's going on YouTube? Hayden back. Have you ever wanted to become a millionaire but feel stuck working at a low income job? Or are you always seeing influencers and business moguls telling you that in order for you to become successful, you need to quit your current work and start your own business or take out a mortgage and buy rental properties? I know I have. And for most everyday people, this just isn't possible. Taking the risk and quitting your job to start a business while you have a family to take care of, it just really isn't a good idea. And there are even some people out there that are just content with the job they work at, and honestly, that's okay. But what if I told you that just by working your low-income job and adding a few simple financial steps into your daily routine, that you can achieve the goal of becoming a millionaire? Now, full disclosure, I'm not a millionaire yet, However, I have been following these steps for around four years now, and I know that they work. At the time of making this video, I'm only 24 years old, and so far I have a net worth of over $500,000, and it used to be a little bit higher before the stock market dumped this year, which you know you would know if you watched a little more of my previous videos on this channel, but um, I'm gonna talk a little bit later about that in today's video. In 2020, the real median personal income in the United States was only $35,000 thousand eight hundred and five dollars now this doesn't seem like a lot right but what if i told you that quite a few of these people earning that salary went on to become millionaires believe it or not the average millionaire probably doesn't look like how you envisioned it either they aren't influencers they aren't youtubers or famous boxers or even business owners they're just typical nine to five employees there are currently over 22 million millionaires in the u.s today and most of them didn't inherit their wealth drive fancy sports cars or eat at five our restaurants every night. In fact, most of those millionaires are just ordinary, everyday people who follow some basic money practices. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is that even possible? How can someone on a $35,000 salary before taxes eventually have a net worth of a million dollars? Well, let me start by giving you an example. Ronald Reed, a retired gas station attendant and janitor, turned out to have been worth nearly $8 million upon his death at the age of 92. And he did this by incorporating just a few simple money rules into his daily routine. Now, the first thing he did was smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. By doing this, it helps YouTube share the this video to people who are also interested in becoming millionaires and also lets me know you want to see more videos like this. But in all seriousness, watching this video is the first step. Setting that goal and doing the research to become financially educated puts you years ahead of the game. I'm sure Reed did this too, probably educating himself about finance in the public library or maybe he had a friend give him some guidance. Fortunately, today though, you can learn anything you want on the internet, including how to become a millionaire. You see what Reed did back in the 19th hundreds to build his net worth probably didn't have a name associated with it but today we have an acronym called FIRE and if you already know what it stands for then you're on the right track. You see FIRE stands for financial independence retire early. It's a movement that encourages people to live below their means so they have more money to invest towards early retirement or part-time work. The higher your savings rate and the percentage of income you don't spend the faster you can become work optional. Investing truly is the way that turns ordinary people into millionaires, including people like Reed. But before I go into specifics on how to invest and what to invest in, we need to go over how investing works. You see, Reed was patient and his wealth grew over many decades with the power of compounding. And investing truly is the process of buying assets that increase in value over time. That's the key word. And also obviously provides returns in the form of income payments or capital gains. Investments also typically earn you interest, which is super important and compound interest is what turns everyday employees like Reed into millionaires, if not multimillionaires. Compound interest is the interest you earn on interest. For example, let's say you have $1,000 invested and it earns 10% each year. At the end of the first year, you will have $1,100. And at the end of the second year, you'll have $1,210. This means you earn $100 from the original 1,000 invested and an additional $10 from the 100 you earned in interest. $10 from interest might not sound like a lot, but just letting compound interest work its magic, in 10 years, your original $1,000 would grow to $2,593. And in 25 years, it would grow to $10,834. That's the true power of compound interest. Now, doesn't compound 
interests sound wonderful when it's working for you? Unfortunately, most people have it the other way around and don't even realize it. The total consumer debt balances increased 5.4% from 2020 to 2021 to $15.31 trillion, a $772 billion increase, and more than double the 2.7% increase from 2019 through 2020. Mortgages, auto loans by far are the two largest components of consumer budget and also experience the fastest year over year growth of any debt category. You see, having debt is the biggest obstacle for the everyday employee to overcome in order to become a millionaire. Sure, there are a few exceptions that I don't want to get into, but in general, debt is bad because people can't control their spending and like to spend with their future money. Dave Ramsey conducted one of the largest surveys of millionaires ever with 10,000 participants and found that most millionaires do not have any debt, and if they did, they made it their biggest goal to pay it off. He also found that if they wanted something they couldn't afford, they saved for it and paid cash. This way, they don't actually have to owe anything to the bank. In other words, they live below their means, and by doing this, it allowed them to use every dollar they earned towards investing and making them compound interest instead of having compound interest work against them. You see, the problem today is everybody has debt. The problem with car loans, credit card debt, student loans, and mortgages is it allows compound interest to work against you. A $10,000 credit card balance at 18% interest with a 3% minimum payment means a monthly minimum payment of $300. But just making a $300 minimum payment each month means it will take over 20 years to pay off the debt and you'll have paid an additional $9,698.16 in interest. Can you believe that? Just paying the minimum minimum on your credit card on the 10k, by the time you pay it off, you would have paid close to $20,000. And the same thing can be applied for car loans, student debt, and even mortgages. Had you just invested $300 a month by budgeting over 20 years with a fraction of the interest, let's say 8%, you would have actually earned $164,743. Making debt a priority to be paid off is the biggest money building tool. Now I know it's easier said than done, but budgeting and reevaluating your lifestyle can help you achieve those goals. Living a frugal lifestyle on a budget for just a few years in order to live the rest of your life as a millionaire is a trade off that you have to be willing to make. Fortunately, there are some steps to speed up this process. Building your income is by far one of the best money building tools. Now for me, it was monetizing a hobby or a starting a side hustle. YouTube, for example, started off as just a hobby in college, which eventually led me to reducing my hours at my full-time job when I uh, graduated college to eventually quitting that full-time job as my YouTube channel brought in more revenue. Obviously, you don't need to take such a dramatic approach as I did, but even starting small by selling your baked goods to friends or gardening or opening an Amazon store or an eBay store, flipping stuff at garage sales or anything of the sort can make you an an extra couple hundred dollars a month. And seriously, making an extra $300 or $500 a month can really help chip away debt fast, save money, and even invest. And it can also have tax advantages too. Now, if you make purchases for your business or side hustle, you may be eligible for tax deductions. Not to mention, a side business can be the best way to get a taste of a future career that you might want to ramp up later. And I don't want to hear you say it. It's not impossible because just two years ago, US business formations rose by nearly 42% in 2020 during the biggest, craziest pandemic lockdown America has seen in a very, very, very long time. So that means it's really not too late to start. The sooner you start investing, the quicker compound interest can start working for you. Now, the best way to invest is by investing in things you understand. So put your own research in and don't just take my word for it. For me though, the stock market is my current choice of investing and so is it for Reeds. Now for Reed, it was specifically stock but for me, it's index funds and mutual funds because Reed didn't have that back then. Mutual funds, for instance, are a type of index fund that tries to outperform the market, while index funds, on the other hand, seek the market average returns. They both allow you to have ownership of a wide variety of stocks with greater diversification, lower risk at usually an extremely low cost. Now, the thing to remember in the stock market is it's not about timing the market, but how much time you have in the market. Like all stocks, major index funds funds fluctuate, but over time, indexes have made solid returns, such as the S&P 500, which I talk about a lot. The long-term record is a 
about 10% annually since 1923. That's around 100 years. Now that doesn't mean index funds make money every year, but over long periods of time, that's been the average return. And what I've learned is it's not so much about building up your percentage of returns, but about building up your nest egg and doing it at an early age. You see, the faster you begin to invest, the faster compound interest can work for you. Just $1,000 saved each month for 25 years is $300,000. Sounds like a lot, right, by saving? And that's not even including inflation at 8.6%, which is taking a hit on your money. Now think about this, $1,000 invested at 10% for 25 years is $1.3 million, not 300,000. So that means that over a million dollars was made from compound interest alone. Now imagine investing double that. Instead of investing 1,000, you invest 2,000 because of your side hustle or because you budgeted down. Instead of investing that 10% of your salary, imagine what 20% could do. And if you wanna hear something crazy, the FIRE method we spoke of earlier teaches investing 50 to 75% of your income. You see, the goal is the faster you can build up that nest egg, the faster you can become financially independent. Maybe that means no more full-time job, or maybe it means you only need a part-time job doing something that makes you happy. Regardless, the sooner you start and the more focused you are on paying down debt and investing, the faster you can become financially free. Remember, Reed was patient when it came to his investments. He never sold through any of the recessions or depressions that the stock market threw at him or even the economy threw at him. He lived below his means, taking the fire method towards life. He invested in stocks, Fortunately, today we have index funds, and he even kept working past retirement because he enjoyed it. And it also allowed him to continue to invest in the stock market. And lastly, he never stopped learning. He was always striving to learn more about investing, the safest ways, the best ways to earn money over time. So guys and girls, use his principles when it comes to investing. And I can assure you that you can become a millionaire on a low income. Now, with that being said, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe if you haven't already. Ready? And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.